All right, we are playing in wild mode against a priest. We are playing a hand buff mech paladin that I net decked off the internet because I needed to complete a paladin quest. And the only paladin class I had now was a 30 legendaries deck. This hand seems okay. I'm not really sure what a good hand in this deck looks like. Christology is in it. That's for certain. That is what a good deck looks like. In this deck I was a little bit worried about because I had to craft two flying machines for it. Which I never thought I would do. Ever. But, you know. This is what my life has come to. We're gonna play Grime Street Outfitter. Buff up our board quite a bit. And our opponent, who is playing Priest, looks like a Resurrect Priest, but not a big priest. Which we're okay with. Uh, plays that. We're gonna do Smuggler's Run. Beef up our board even more, and then... I'm going to drop a an Annoyotron, which is probably better than Mech Warper here because he could just kill it and revive it. This way at least we still have the body left on the board. I guess Flying Machine is good when it's a 3-6, especially if we can really amp it up. He silences Annoyotron, which is is not a cool move at all. Why would you do that? He was so happy to be just a 3-4. Alright, there he goes. Well, Inner Fire is a fun card, uh, which means we've got to try and stop that at all costs. Right now, we could Zilliax, that wouldn't quite do it. So we're going to drop a Mech Warper and a Flying Machine. And we're going to put Glowtron on the Flying Machine. So we have a 611 Wind Fury. If he can't kill us this turn, which he totally could, let's be honest, uh, we can attach Zilliax to that. And then we've got a monster. Absolute unit. In the light's name. Our opponent plays Light Warden. Smacks our Mech Warper, so we aren't dead. Which is very nice. And cast Neferset Ritualist. Buffing up his Light Warden. Quite a bit. But it's okay, because we have Divine Shield. Unity. Precision. So we could just deal 22 damage to him this turn, but I think we're gonna we're gonna meet somewhere in the middle, because that light warden is terrifying. So if he had power word death or something, I feel like he might have played it last turn. Ooh, so we have lethal straight up. He can't kill it. Did we really just win with flying machine? Is that really what happened? There is no way we just won with a giant flying machine. Ooh, this deck. <laughs> this deck could really be something. Alright, maybe we'll play a few games here because that one was four minutes. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you for another game. Alright, we are playing against another priest. We are just preying on priests using flying machine. Um, we probably don't want to skater bot that early. Nor do we want galvanizer, I don't think. We probably just want to play our cards on too. Outfitter seems good and shielded minibot seems efficient, so we'll we'll do it like this. We get mech warper and replicating menace. Okay, well. We don't have a one drop, but we could draw one. 
We didn't. Um, I guess we coin out Outfitter, right? And then we can drop a 2-3 or a 3-4 or a 3-3, three, three, I mean. Yeah, that makes more sense. We'll just do a little bit of setting up here. 3-4 Mech Warper is really good. Um, I mean, he, we could just play Minibot next turn, or we could have coined out Minibot this turn, but this sets up for the future better. The opponent plays, I believe that was uh, the Shadow Ritual, is that what it is? Shadow Visions. Um, which doesn't give us much insight, because all priests everywhere run Shadow Visions, because it's ridiculous. But our portals are online, and we 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 drew Flight Machine. <laughs> Here we go. Best card in the entire deck. I cannot believe we are playing an actual deck with Flying Machine. He Shadow Visions is again, and I believe that said created by Shadow Visions. So he didn't get what he wanted, which means he has more than two other spells in his deck. Doesn't give me much insight, but I at least know that. I think next turn we're going to slap our Replicating Menace onto our Mech Warper. Get in some more damage. Or we could Flying Machine and Shielded Minibot. And then the turn after that we could slap War Gear onto our Flying Machine. Oh, I kind of like that even more. Especially because he can have Shadow or Death, but not a board wipe until a little bit later. I like this. Unless he's looking for... Uh, Shadow Word Madness, in which case, you know what? We deserve... We deserve everything we take if he was teching in Shadow Word Madness against us. He heals himself. Kinda thinking that he's a big priest because of how nothing he's been doing. But we're just gonna War Gear and... Why not? Let's attack Skaterbot, too. Deal 16 damage to him. Holy crap! Flying Machine, you are doing some work, man! Oh my goodness. Alright, game three. I usually don't do more than one game with this, but these have been going so fast, and they have been so hilarious. I mean, there's Flying Machine, <laughs> like, I feel like we can't quite mulligan that away. Especially with two smugglers' runs. Okay, so our opponent is playing Odd Paladin. Now, this is the Paladin that I probably should have made if I wanted to play a Wild Paladin. But instead, I was playing Flying Machine Paladin. So, th this is the final boss, right here. We're going to cast Smuggler's Run. He's going to play his hero power, I'm assuming. Or just that Fire Elemental and another incredible one drop. And then he'll hit us and pass. We will drop our Mech Warper. Which he can't kill on the board. If he has Muster for Battle, he can. Uh, and I don't know if that deck runs Muster for Battle. But he's just gonna fill his board. Hit us in the face a bunch. But we probably don't want to play Flying Machine right then. We'll Christology first. We can Flying Machine, Skaterbot, Skaterbot, Glotron to give it Rush. And we can Smuggler's Run first, so it's huge. <laughs> Alright, well, here we go. This is all or nothing. Alright, well, we have a 10-13 on turn four, and it can get even bigger and have taunt next turn if he doesn't deal with it. And what removal spell does Odd Paladin have? 
Riddle me this, what can he possibly do to deal with this flying machine? The light protects me. Argent Squire, you think that's gonna do it? You think that's gonna light. do it? I don't care if any of them have Divine Shield. We can hit him for 20, 26 next turn. We have lethal! <laughs> Flying machine! He already killed him! Woohoo! This is my favorite deck ever. <laughs> Alright, Thrall, what do you think you can do against the power of our flying machine? Uh, we will throw both of those, but keep the one outfitter. When I when I saw this deck list, and I saw that the only deck card... Uh, say that again. When I saw that the only card in the deck that I didn't have was flying machine, I was looking around to see, like, there has to be just a better 3-drop to replace it with. There's no way that I need to craft Flying Machine for this, right? There's no way. That would be completely unnecessary and irrelevant. Flying Machine? Really? But then, oh my goodness. It is not only... Not only is Flying Machine good in this deck, it is the best card in the deck. Alright, we get Burlocked. Murloc Battle Cry Shaman, maybe? Maybe he's he's the madman is mixing it up. If we mech warper, we could mech warper a Noitron, Glotron, Glotron. But I kinda wanna be Well, that is pretty good. And it's before Hex as well. That is pretty serious. We're gonna split it up just because he does have hex. We got a big board, but it's 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 not all gonna be in one minion. I think we would want to throw Replicating Menace at the Anoyatron, because this makes more sense to Hex. Okay! The Darkness is not a card that I was expecting. To be completely honest, then <laughs> he conceded. <laughs> We're going to game five. We are against a rogue. I will fight with, with Christology in our opening hand, which is solid. Do we want to keep both skater bots, which are free with Mech Warper? I think we'll keep one. I think we'll keep one. Because we can do stuff. I mean, Skaterbot works really well with Mech Warper because we can just drop it and give it Rush, and it's automatically a 3 4 with Rush. Uh, I. What, what was that? Journey Below? Hallucination. Okay, so he's a Burgle Rogue. Kind of. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, we'll Christology here. We got. We got our boy. Glotron is really good as well. I think what we'll do is Grime Street Outfitter next turn, and then the turn after, maybe even just play Flying Machine. Because there's no way he would just kill Flying Machine, is there? Ooh, you know what? I want a Christology Coin Outfitter. Because this is a... This is a hand of minions if I've ever seen one. We've got a lot of action here. Our opponent just daggered up turn two. In turn three, is it going to be a Blink Fox or a Burgle? Interestingly enough, it's no quest. So if he is Burgle Rogue, and it doesn't necessarily, he can run hallucinations in other decks. Um. But if it is by chance Burger Rogue, we should have seen something there. Um, so, what do we do here? If we just do this, we can amp it up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, well, 5, 
extra attack. But then there's always the chance of it getting sapped. So... I'm gonna play the flying machine. But... It isn't going to be... I'm not gonna... Drop everything on it. Because if he saps, we're gonna get pretty heavily blown out. Hench Clan Burglar. It's another card that could go in Burglar Rogue, but also most Rogue decks. So, not really sure what that entails for us. But at any rate, he did not kill the flying machine. So, if we wanted to... Oh, Patches! Not... was not expecting that from the fact that you did nothing the first four turns, but okay. So right here, with Mechwarper Galvadon, that would make this cost only two, but that wouldn't do much. Maybe we just play an oil module. No, that can't be right. Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to Galvanize her. Glowtron here. Right. Skaterbot. Smack here. Flying machine. Skaterbot. Smack. 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 That seems like a pretty reasonable play to spread out spread out the threats and the magnetizes while still having a pretty good uh, basis for blowing him out. Alright, well he saps our galvanizer, which of all the cards is the one card we are perfectly fine with him sapping. So we're gonna mech warper here. And I'm gonna galvanize her, because that's a reduction of two for one man. We're gonna kill Wicker Flame with this. We're gonna annoy a module to keep this one alive. And then we're gonna annoy a module here and smack him in the face for twelve. After that, what is he going to do? Can't do anything. We're invincible. Guess I know a guy to try and save himself here. <laughs> Plays a Noyatron. This is Blink Fox. It looks like he was a test rogue. Holy crap! Alright. You know what? I think that's enough for this episode. Flying Machine is amazing. You know what? I'm gonna keep playing this. Expect Flying Machine in the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, if you can, <laughs> like... Uh, and or subscribe if you want to see more flying machines. <laughs>